What's up guys and welcome back to seven days to die. We're finishing up the oh, the upgrades on the base here. Just for a little fun and adventure. Make life interesting for our uh, zombie friends. Alright, since I got time. I should I wanna go get some more ammo anyways. So I'll just go overland. But I'm thinking I want to stock up my ammo for this one. Also, there was an error when I uh, finished my last one. So I'll have to see what the issue was. I might have lost that episode. If I did, and you guys are like, why is it noon? What happened to that one? Well, it did say there was an error. So we'll see. It did go a little long, because I wasn't paying attention to the time. Uh, so that's a thing. <clears throat> I have no idea why those don't want to grow, but whatever. I need to rethink, uh, cut all that down at some point anyways, and rethink it. Still got plenty of wood. Uh, okay. Open says me. Let's make another 60 traps. Which are where? Again? Tools and traps. Duh. Right there. Uh, we'll make woodlock spikes. And we'll make 60 of them. Kind of want to do what I did with the uh, first two areas and do it again. There we go. Go get some ammo. So pistol ammo I am going to need a bunch of. Rifle ammo, we'll live with that. Concrete I don't need at the moment. So I don't need it at the moment. So I'll just put that back in with the rest right over here. So I don't need it at the moment. And I'll put these down here where they need to live. Alright, and I can put away my lights, because I don't need them at the moment, or my... Well, I do need forged steel, so... Let me see what I can put away. Put away these. And I'll keep these on me real quick. Alright, I need to make what? Where are those? Ah, uh, these. Eh, about 15? Eh, about 15 will work. I can make 9. Oh, whatever. Let me put those away. How long is that 9 going to take, I want to know. Okay, I can put this away for now. And I put that right here. You guys need to cycle out somewhere down here just so I can keep track of it. I'm going to take these two with me in case I need to actually take them. Do something. I have more forages. I really need to take apart this place and redo it at some point. Okay, you're all set. Put that right there. It's going to take four minutes to get that all together. Here's my Lovely doodad. Yeah, gunpowder is what I live for. And that cost me coal and nitrate. Do I need to do anything over here? Not really, huh? Actually, can I just put two guns together? I think I can, right? Because yeah, I got uh, another pistol. And another hunting rifle. So let me see if I can just combine those. Fully combine those. I don't think I can. But if I were to put this. Right there. No. Okay. I have to strip it apart. So let's take this one. And let's go ahead and disassemble this. Click on assemble. Okay, let's take out all the parts. Because I can 
disassemble both of these and uh, upgrade them a bit. Make a better one. Excuse me, can I have that barrel? Oh, uh, I guess you're done. Close. And then take this one apart. Oop. Helps if I click on the right buttons. Yeah, see, I have some parts that aren't very good. Well, this is. The barrel is fine. And that part's good, but the receiver and the stock are kind of crap. Okay, so go to this. Put this one up here. This is what you spend your life doing here. Take that. Just go ahead and put these two together. There we go. It's not great, but not bad. And then we can probably upgrade this all the way. Not really. I mean it. Use that to repair this. There we go. That's all ready to go. Let me see if I have any other parts I can... Because I need to wait for this stuff anyways. To be done. So let me see if I have any more... Rifle parts. Uh, shotgun barrel. I don't really think I need a shotgun yet. Well, I can get this hunting stock out of here. This receiver out of here. And the barrel's fine. The receiver... Yeah, I'll take that. All right. Pistol-wise, we have a 199. We can scrap that, uh, take that apart, too. Because we got a bunch of stuff we can take apart. And then we'll just put it back together again. And give me the mag. Okay. Take this. And pistol parts. Yeah, see, we got a pretty good one right here. And a barrel. Okay, now we'll put it all back together. Okay, two or three on there, just for fun and adventure. All right, so put the stock up there, and where? Oh no, wait. I don't. Oh, I do need the stock. Was there another one? Yes, there was. Yeah, not great, but not bad. Let's put the pistol grips together. Okay. Doesn't really matter. Hunting rifle parts. Put these together. 295. We're almost to the good part. It's not really an upgrade. Oh, wait. These pistol parts look the same. That's hunting rifle parts. That's hunting rifle parts. That'll make it 526. That'll work. Take the pistol barrel. Put those two together. And this is pistol parts. And more pistol parts. The 281. Upgrade this a little bit. There we go. 527. Oh, I really, I totally forgot I had another pistol. Okay. Take that out, take that out, take that out, do this. Okay, let's take this barrel. Where's the, well, we have one of these. And that, there we go, make it 534. Hunting rifle part, no, not the hunting rifle parts. You guys look so similar. They do look similar. Okay, and that's 349 and 331. Make it 356. I have a barrel right here. Maybe I can make a nice barrel out of this? Not really. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and assemble. Assemblerino. Let's go hunting rifle receiver. Hunting rifle parts and a barrel. Okay, complete it. And let's do the pistol. Just assemble. Give it a barrel. Give it parts. And give it that. And go ahead and complete it. And we ended up with a blue rifle and a green gun. Not bad. Not, not horrible, but not bad. OK. 
Okay, how are you doing over here, sir? You are... I think 12 is enough for now. All right. Just turn that off. We don't really need a commotion out front. But we can get at least most of our uh, iron, uh, iron bars up. And then we can go put out some more stopgap stop gap thingies right there. The log spikes. I also love just being able to walk through here. And I would have loved getting a sniper rifle, but you know what? We'll live with what we got. Same thing with the SMG. I haven't seen a part for that yet. AK-47. Haven't seen parts for that. Well, no, I got the receiver. Uh, rocket launcher, sadly, is the thing I keep getting the most parts of, and I don't know why. Because I'm never using that. Oh, I do have a 44 mag, but I only have 17 rounds on it. And my uh, gunsmithing isn't enough to make bullets for it yet. It's coming. It's coming, just not yet. Whoa. Not sure what happened there. Up we go. Okay, let's start with these pieces. Uh, I want to get this piece in right here real quick. So first, we need to adjust it. There we go. Place that one. And then we need to finish placing as many of these as we can. Okay. How many do I have? Six? I might be able to do it. I was dead on, huh? It was pretty much dead on. Okay. Ooh, easy there. All right. Let me just put those away in storage in case I need them. All right. Pistol-wise, we're going to need that down here at some point. And we'll read those before the creepy, creepy crawly music tonight. Because I do not know how bad this one's going to be. It should be pretty bad. Alley-oop. All right. Let me uh, de-equip something right now. I want to punch this grass out of here. Just want to put another area down where they have to walk through, and I'll take the one stone that showed up. Okay. And we're going to go uh, roughly right here. Just to, you know, make it interesting. This won't stop them at all. Okay, that's fine. But it'll make them work for it. You know, and I'm only upgrading these once. And uh, if they weren't so damn expensive and take so damn long to make, I'd make more of those woodlock types. I might, you know what? Uh, hold on. Oh, wait. Traps. Make uh, 50 of these. See, they're, they're so expensive. It's like 5,000 wood right there, right? Yeah, it's 5K wood. They could just throw them up. Okay, so we got this area done. So this is the last area. I need to throw a little bit of love up here. little bit make a tiny bit of kill zone so we're gonna go one two three and then we're gonna come right here and just put them right in here you know make it uh, make it interesting for them and again uh, to get into the base I can just go into my 
emergency e entrance. And that's all I needed there. Have to see how much wood I have. Which, uh, I should be fine on. I have an entire wooded area that I've grown. Okay. And what do we add over here? Yeah, these take forever to make. Okay, I'm going to run back to the house and chop down the rest of that wood. And I guess replant. Because I'm going to want to do some uh, stuff here at some point. Probably not today, but I'm going to need the wood log spikes to upgrade it. And then we got the third horde night coming up, so that's going to be a thing. And I'm going to cut down those trees that aren't growing. I don't know what the hell's going on with them. Not that it matters. They're not that bad. It's just they just didn't grow. <laughs> no idea why. It could just be because they're in the, uh, the little ditch here. I mean, they got to 900, so whatever. Chop all these down and then get another set growing. It'll give me time while those grow. Never let it be said I don't build things that I'm supposed to build. I might rethink this too. Like flatten the whole thing out and then uh, make it so... They only fit a certain way. I think I can do it with plank uh, with planks. Let's see. They get a lot more when they're fully grown. And this will keep me stocked up on wood for quite a while. Hmm. So I'm not in a terrible rush to get this redone, replanted. You know. And I do have like four replanted anyway, so it's not a problem. I guess it gets, does give a little extra wood no matter what, but not a ton. I also don't have any of the upgrades I need for that. Another one dead. I also need to get rid of that rock if I'm going to leave this here, because it's just in the way. Alright. Got you boys. Take you down. wonder how much wood I'll get out of this. I'd say at least two or three full stacks, right? So I think I get, what, 800 per tree? Or something like that. 750? 751? I didn't pay too much attention to it. But I do use wood for my forges, all that stuff. Hey, my miscellaneous crafting is 90. I have 41 skill points to waste, too. Which I don't really care about. I'm going to have to upgrade this axe at some point. Make a new one. Also, I shouldn't keep that cup there. <laughs> I just realized where my cup was, and I'm like, that's going to cause an accident if I keep screwing around with that. Ah, my spikes are almost done. But yeah, they're so damn expensive. And they used to be really cheap, and I can understand why they did it. They wanted to balance it. Uh, they made them like because the woodlock spikes are so much better 
And I'm not even kidding, they're really better. I'll be interested to see what we pull out of this for wood. It's like 12 grand or more. It's even better. Okay. Oh, shut up. I'm cold. Hey, you live. Nobody ever died from uh, 45 degrees. If your body temperature was 45 degrees, you'd be dead. Just saying. Yeah, I don't know why these didn't grow. Weird that they didn't. Not uh, not hard to fix. It's just weird that they didn't grow. It didn't feel like growing, I guess. Might have been too close to each other. It's the only thing I can think of. Alright, so that's everything except for those. What did we pull out of that? 18... 19,000 wood. Alright, we are good with wood for quite a while. Alright, uh, we're still making these wood log spikes, right? I need to replace these over here. And also, what the hell happened here? Oh, this might have been the screamer coming through. Oop, well, I didn't need to do that. That looks good. That one looks like it's taking some damage. Anybody else? Yeah, you. Yeah, somebody just kind of walked on through here, huh? Yeah, there's a few of them. Not sure when that happened. Hmm. Assuming somebody just stopped on by for some fun adventure. Nothing that you really need to worry about, but you know what? We'll take care of it what, since we're here. Okay, we're going to take these with us. I'm going to switch to my club here, just in case. I wanted to put a... just wanted to replace the row. Because they got to go through the first set of spikes. Now, the ones on the angles go on the angles. There's nothing I can do about those. Ooh, whoa, I forgot I did that. One on the angles, yeah, they... whatever. Because they got to come around to get at me anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. There's my base of doom over there. Thought I heard somebody walking. Yeah, going other places, I tend to run into problems. You know, people showing up. Okay. So, let's go replace... I don't want to put it there, but I do want to put one right there. Ooh. Okay, it might be a little hard to get in here. They can do this. See, it's easier if I can walk right in to the center. Just like this. Yeah, there we go. I can pop in right here, too. Yeah, throw that one there. Okay, throw this one right here, just for fun and adventure. Okay, over here we pretty much survived pretty well. So let's do this. And it looks decent, I think. Just for giggles. Alright, I think we're okay. It's just over... Well, one of these had uh, one space I couldn't get to. or that, No, I got it. Okay, that's about as good as we can make it right now. Pretty good hovel, I think. Just pick these up. Now, the only other thing I really need to do at some point is I need to clear out a lot of this grass that's around because they tend to wander into these wander into the glass, uh, grass and I can't see him. I'm thinking also I might want to put barbed wire in front of these. But we'll have to see how much damage they actually do to it. Okay, it's almost 1800. Alright, so let me just go back in my little hovel here. Okay, 
you guys see nothing yeah uh, like I said I'm gonna have to upgrade all this tunnel at some point and I want to put a door like right here which is a backup door because I want to widen out that part at some point okay so let's do a little upgrade in here right along the edges just so, uh, yeah, if they somehow manage to break a wood log spike and end up, you know, flat on their backs, you know, they're not beating the crap out of shut up. Yeah, that's me saying shut up. This guy's a wuss. Have to run him into the tunnel so he warms up. And that one's done. What do I got left? 337. I got enough, I think, to almost finish this up. Oh, wait. Yeah, see, they had got that one uh, once or twice. Got that one. Okay. What do I got left? 197. Whoops. Didn't want to do that. Okay, I'm out. All right. So we're ready to go. We got a little light out here. I don't really think they'll do a ton of stuff for it. But I am going to need a ton of metal to upgrade this place. Okay, so now I can't really jump off the top anymore. That would be bad. <laughs> really be bad. Okay. Oop. Kind of flew off the rock there. Okay, let's go down here because it's warm down here and he won't bitch about it too much. I'll keep the wood, log spi uh, the wood spikes with me. So uh, I'll need to drop those off at some point. 1800, so we still got plenty of time before the horde comes, shows up. I kind of, do I have another flashlight? I'd like to put a flashlight on my hunting rifle. Not that it'll help. So, I mean, I do have a mining helmet on, which stays on, you know, because if you turn that off, ooh, it's dark and scary in here. <laughs> dark and scary. I love running through my tunnels, man. Those are the bomb. So, I also need to think of how, what else I want to do, because I think I want to connect to the bunker at some point, which is... From here, let me see if I can see it on the map, zoom in, so that's roughly like right here. So what I might do is I could just run from, uh, kind of want to leave the bunker alone though, you know, for various reasons. Okay, so we can... Quite a few of these, so we got a little time. Let's uh, let me take a look at some items here. Uh, I kind of want to do not resources. I want to look at building, and it'd be wooden. Uh, yeah, wooden what? Wooden plate. Is that it? Let me see what they look like. Okay, give me one more. And let's make 60 of these. Eh, let's make 80. Lord knows we got uh, we got the resources for it. Okay. Mine that with that. Okay. Now that those are being made, I'm going to go out. And I want to take a look at my tree farm. Work on that a bit. So let's see how we can make this work. Because I know it's... Did I keep my seeds? I didn't even keep my seeds like an idiot. I forgot them. I put the seeds away, and then I'm like, wait, I actually need... Oh, these are nice. Because I can use these to scope it out and lay everything the way I want it. So I can actually scope it out so they're sitting at the, right, at the correct area. So we can actually make a proper tree farm. The way we can do that is we can actually just place this right there, right there, 
right there, skip one, and then go here, 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 uh, put one here, pick that, pick that up. Oh, crap, I forgot I gotta cut it out. Damn it. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, let's cut this out. Okay. Let me do one here. Here. And then skip one and go here. And put that there so we can cut it out. Uh, it's this one, right? Yeah. And you can put that one right there. And one right here. And then go right here. Two, three. And then we want to put the skip that and go here. 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 I guess one more. Okay. All right. Two, three, one, two, three, and then uh, move up. Two, three, space it. Right there, right there, right there, and this to flatten it. All right, and then I don't remember what I'm doing. Two, three, one there, and then space it, space it out. There we go. That there, and one to the right, and we're gonna flatten it like that. All right, yeah, it can do two more. It's not gonna be perfect, but it'll work for now. Two, three. You know what I should do instead of wasting these? For right now. I can just do that, and I'll flatten it out, and then I can pick it back up. Put that there. Oop, don't do that. And this one here. Flatten that back out. Flatten all this out. So it doesn't look bad. Okay, just flatten all this out so it looks good. Okay, flatten this part out. Okay. And that one. All right, it looks a little bit better. Get rid of that. Okay, and we need one over here. Okay, and then let's flatten this out. Just along there. Just so it looks even. All right. So one, two, up. Oh, I was on the wrong thing. My fault. Two, three. Space it out. Space it out. Space it out. Two, three. Right there, right there, and right there. Okay. And we just do the same thing over here, which is just... Oh, I jumped. One, two, and put that... Just make this nice and neat right here. It's kind of a test, just to see if it looks right. And you need to go right there. And then this one goes right here. And like this and that. Okay. So for right now, let me swap this for these. I said swap that for these. Okay. Now this should work. We'll see. Okay. Okay. We're going to have to flatten that out, obviously. 
I'm going to make this like a really nice tree farm now. I thought that's the plan. And I can make it bigger if I need to. But it's going to take a while and a lot of wood to do it. But let's use the rest of these up. Just uh, make it look like we actually give a crap. Okay. All right. Let's do this one there right there there and there and connect those two two three two and come on there you go okay and there you go connect that let's drill these in draw one there one there okay so that's the idea for the tree farm. Let me see how that's going to look. At around 20 hundred, we're going to have to start moving crap to the base. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's see how that looks. Because once I get that whole thing cleared out, it's going to be flat. Those guys are going to grow on their own. I just want to make sure they all grow correctly. I think they will, but we'll see. Okay, let me batten down the hatches here. And let's go ahead and drop off anything I don't need, which is just this for right now. Uh, eggs I don't need, the feathers I don't need. We'll move those into the base. Take a drink while I'm here. Throw these back into storage. All right, and wood I'm just going to dump over here for right now, which is this, this, and this. Actually, give me half of that. Throw that in there. You never know, I might need it. All right, let's get whatever else we need. All right, uh, weapon-wise, we're going to take the gun, uh, both guns. Okay, let me make sure everybody's loaded. No, nope, not that one. Okay, we are loaded for bear. I think 143 will do it for rifle rounds, 7.62 rounds, I think. Oh, but let's do this. Half, half. Okay, I'll take the... I got 187 and I uh, plus the 15 I got. Let's get some more food. Take another little nummy before we leave. Um, put that back down here. Uh, take a few more nummies. Holy, holy crap! Okay, I think that should be enough. All right. I think the rest of this should be fairly simple. Um, throw. We're going to move a lot of stuff into my base, so I want to swap out, uh, you know, the wood log spikes. The stuff I'm not going to use during the actual fight. Throw some med kits down there. Uh, antibiotics, if I need them. I have them in the chest. I don't. I shouldn't need those immediately. It's not like you can die of being infected, like, on the spot, as far as I know. Now, you're going to have to deal with the cold weather. I should be fine on that. Should be. Theoretically. We'll see how it goes. All right. Get back to my base. I love it. I need more. Uh, t I need to make a ton more torches too. I want this thing lit up, so I can turn off this and it doesn't look like freaking nighttime. Okay. All right. Let's see what else we got over here that I might need to uh, use. I didn't bring. Well, first aid band. Ah, I got one med kit, so that's fine. Throw that out here. Drop this over here and these over here. I don't need them at the moment. I don't need the wrench. Eh, I should probably keep the wrench on me for a little bit. I need the ammo. I need these. Always keep these on me. I mean, uh, it's literally going to be me looting. 
stuff and bringing it over as I need it. And see, I can make plenty of torches if I need to. And I got a couple of things of beer. I should keep swap the drink off beer. I'm not going to need the pickaxe at the moment. So what is this one? I don't even know what these are. Uh, kill some spider zombies. Okay. Did I use it by accident? Oh, okay, I didn't. And what's this one? Oh, what is that? Stag party challenge. This is an Itsy Bitsy Spider Challenge. I can read it. Why can't I read this one? Well, whatever. Uh, for this one, I'm not going to use during Horde Night because it's for Stag. i just throw that up there. I'll use that on Horde Night. And I'm pretty sure I can use that for now. Actually, I should get down in there and make sure I'm totally warmed up. Oh, I definitely got to fix this. I might do that right now. Okay, let's take the beer out for just for a second. I want to put these frames up so I'm not falling all over the place. Okay, so it needs to go right here, here, here. Eh, it doesn't really matter. Just uh, get them in here. There we go. Let's uh, just wall this in a bit. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but it does have to be. There we go. And let's just shore this up a bit, like so. And we can get them over here too, I think. Okay. How much wood do I have? Oh, 3K. I got enough. Okay, so we can do a little upgrade in here. Just a little bit. Okay, let's uh, bop that. Bop. Bop that one. And that one. And that one. And let's switch back over and do a little more fill in here. Which is, uh, come down a bit. Nope, wrong one. Come on. There we go. Up. Put that right there. I'm too far, too close. There we go. And we need one right there. Right there. Can I fit one in there? No. There we go. Now, it's less of me, a problem of me getting hooked on that while I'm trying to get down here. Uh, just because I'm an idiot. I don't care. It's dirt. Yeah, just because I want it to look decent. There we go. And we can fix this over here. Okay, that's not going to fit right there. So we'll just upgrade that like that. Because eventually, like I said, this is all going to be replaced. Evened out. Yeah. All right. It's not perfect, but it's good enough. There we go. Can I fit one in there? Like right there? Yes, I can. There we go. Just wanted it to make actually look like a tunnel, you know. All right, guys, and I think we're going to end this one here because when we come back, I'm going to do the Horde Night. So, guys, thank you so much for joining me. I'm JD Sensei. This is Seven Days to Die, and I'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day, guys.